In fact, the number of companies we have queuing up to take and pay these teacher interns is bigger than the number of interns we can provide. We want them to be literate of being able to read the room. I'm going to tell you a story about science, technology, policy. There's a concern around the world about how is it that we help young people develop in ways. The first is the world's plan. The second is the world's plan. The third is the world's plan. So I'm going to spend my five minutes talking about a five-minute, one-image speaker series that we launched at the University of Washington about four years ago when I stepped into the dean role. It's called EduTalks, and um, I apologize to my American dean colleague peers who heard me give a version of this a couple of days ago at the cadre meeting. So um, the format is the five minutes. There's one backdrop image to kind of help set the scene. And they are inspired by both TED Talks as well as three-minute theses that I talked about yesterday. And it's a way to engage uh, beyond the tower. Right? Uh, the, the, the purpose of these talks is to convey the relevance and impact of the work that we do, but to a generalist audience. Um, our, we've probably done six of them over the last four years. Our most well-attended one had about 230 people come. Our least well-attended because it was a sunny day in Seattle. Mm -hmm. In spring, it was about 100. But we get people to come, and they're everybody from um, internal audience to donors to the local media to district partners, CBOs. Um, uh, just, it's an easy thing to invite people to come to because they're pleasurable, they're fun, they're engaging. And so um, basically, if I meet somebody during my mm -hmm. Not 15,000 meetings a year, but my 1,500 meetings a year, I'll just say, you should come to EduTalks. And it's an easy lift for them to say yes. So uh, policymakers, it's mostly their staffers. We've had more luck getting their staffers to come. They'll come. Um, there are some signature elements to it. Uh, we typically have the event off campus, so we bring the college to the community. We've had it at a newly opened school. We've had it at a very cool art house uh, theater spot. Um, we've had it in a children's museum. We've had it at Seattle, um, the Pacific Science Center. We're getting ready to do our next one in the spring. That one will be our first on campus, and it'll be at our kind of newly reopened Burke Museum. So there's lots of curiosity and interest in having it there. And I just found out that Seattle Public School Superintendent uh, Denise Juno is coming, and she's going to do one of those five-minute talks. And so that's, that speaks to who gives the talks. It's mostly our faculty. But sometimes, depending on if we're partnering with another organization, it's, it's representatives from that organization, or whatever the theme might be, I might select a couple other folks um, to kind of round it out and make it interesting. Um, there is coaching involved. We've gotten relatively good at, at figuring out how to do that over time. So our, our next um, EduTalks is, is February 27th. And my team and I are already eagerly figuring out who's the lineup and starting to set up all those meetings to, to help them coach them around their title, because the title matters, their backdrop image, and then really what's the two or three key concepts that they want the audience to know. This is not a, a, a five minute speech to talk about your method or your theory of action. It really is to tell a story about why the work matters. And what we say to each of the participants is, your job is to take your five minutes and try to convert it into more minutes during the reception, right? So the idea is to get people in the room to use that power of convening, right, by hosting something fun and pleasurable. And they, we, you know, we usually shoot for nine or ten speakers, so we're done in an hour. And then, there, then there's the, a lovely reception afterwards. And if it's on the cheap, it's punch and cookies. And if it's nicer, it's heavy appetizers and wine. Right? But you can vary the cost of the event depending on, on your budget. Uh, we are, let's see, logistics. One unanticipated consequence that has turned out to be delightful is that we record these. And they are available online if you'd like to check them out. Just Google uh, UW EduTalks, EduTalks being one word. And we've had over 56,000 views since we launched them. Um, certain faculty are very popular, and it cannot just be their family members. They have something like 3,000 views. And it's just this very easy, accessible way for people to start to learn about the work that we do. I've heard graduate students who are now our students say, well, I first started to explore working with Professor so-and-so by virtue of 
checking out their edu talks and that made me lean in and want to learn more about that person's work. Uh, final thoughts just to say is that it's they're fun, they're relatively easy to organize, mm -hmm. relatively low cost compared to the reward that you get from putting them on. And I'm happy to share uh, lessons that we've learned along the way because it's not all been roses and wine. Um, and that's all I want to say. Thanks. Great. Thank you.